Hi, Jim Green here with another episode of Inside the UBC. We're going to talk about the side kick. Now, in prior episodes, we've talked about how to throw this kick safely. We really talked about rotating the hip, making sure that the supporting heel is facing towards the target, and that you want to make sure you're in this position on the kick as opposed to having the foot off the side and be in this position. The fact is that you want to make sure you've got full rotation and it's a stomping motion, not a almost like a round kicking motion. Not only is it a better kick, but over time it's going to be better for your hips. Now, once you've got that one down, let's talk about how to do a little bit more advanced side kick. Now, this is the one I would teach someone in a martial arts class. It's called a three-step kick. One, if I have a good guarding stance, my supporting foot or my front foot is going to face towards the target. I basically have to get this foot out of the way. So on the very first step, I'm stepping towards the target, but I'm also stepping slightly off to the side to allow my back foot to come behind my front foot. And that way now I have that rotation that we were talking about where my hip is pointing at the target, also known as my butt cheek, my supporting heel is facing towards the target, and I'm back in the position where I can do that stomp. Now, why do I want to do that? Because this allows me now to put a lot more momentum into the kick. So it's one fluid motion. Not only do I have the strength of the leg striking, but I have the momentum and weight of my body firing the kick. So that's a nice little tip for you in developing your side kick. Again, three steps. One, step towards the target, slightly too off to the side. Two, step behind the front foot, turning the heel towards the target. And three, stomping with the heel. Now, let's say we want to put a side kick into our combination. And let's just do a one, two, one, two. When this hand pulls back, I should be able to pull my body back, turn my heel, point my hip without having to step back. And if I can get a nice tight fold in my side kick, still be able to fire the kick into the combination. So again, one, two, one, two. As the hand pulls, watch the rotation of the hip, rotation of the heel, turn. Again, I still on the target, kick. And instead of having to go one, two, one, two, step back, side kick. Again, that's more how a fighter would do it. Trying to make sure there's no gap or a limited amount of gap between the punches and kicks, plus taking the knee tight into the body, can fold into trying to get that boom side kick up under the elbow. All right, this is Jim Great, and I sure hope this makes your kickboxing class more enjoyable and more effective. Thanks.